Hello, my name is Vido Negele and please look to my homepage www.candonplay.at or dot .at First I show you the rhythm EBD Oshala. It's very slow rhythm. Oshala is an old Orisha and <coughs> for this it's very slow motion and the slow motion rhythm and in the terreros they play some different bells and also here some different uh, sticking patterns but I play the common one and yeah if you listen to CD uh, productions then maybe you find some other bells and some other rhythms here okay one two three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the next step to play is uh, the Arabaki rhythm for the EP de Oshala. <coughs> The Arabaki rhythm is also sometimes different, it depends on the battle figure which they are playing normally. But in this situation I teach you the common bell rhythm which is used in a lot of terreros for Ipide Oshala and it sounds like this and in the beginning you have the first and second uh, of the three holes, uh, I think this is the English word for this, uh, <coughs> just to enter. You will see it if I enter, and it's also very important to enter always on this way because in some situations, like Alushadi Shanko, for example, if you change the rhythm, the beginning is always with this it's like one, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see that first, <coughs> and then you you're going into the rhythm. I will show you now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Station and the loop station. I was uh, recording the bell, and now if you see how the bell and the Adabaki basic rhythm is connected, uh, I will play here and fill up the both sides, and then I enter here a little bit. Just just the the en entry or the beginning phrase of Ibide Ushala. Then you see how it how it works together. Okay.
Okay, that was EB de Ushala. Okay, the next step is to play Ugum. And Ugum is a faster rhythm because Ugum is uh, also for fighting for iron and the Orisha. Uh, it's a brother, I think, of Shango, and <coughs> you play Ogun or you play some other uh, beats for the riches, but in this tempo. So the tempo is one, around 130 for, uh, for the dotted quarter notes, I think that's correct. I will write it on the bottom, the tempo. Okay. One, two, three, four, one. faster and also the Adabaki rhythm is more faster so it's like that one two three four Kiss and then I play the beginning of Ogun, so you see how it works. <coughs> Because uh, it's the same root. Yeah. So hello once again. Uh, now I would like to show you the Alucha de Shango or the rhythm for Shango. It's very fast and normally if you sing you play not so fast, but then in the part of dancing and if the Orisha Shango will come to the Filios de Santos, uh, the people who are dancing, then uh, it could be played faster. And the thing is that uh, you're playing here with sticks and here with hand. So, First of all, I show you once again the tempo. It's around uh, 160, the dotted uh, quarter note, and uh, yeah, it's uh, good speed. But you could increase the speed. But I could play 160, and what I was saying before, also you have to play this speed for maybe 10, 15, or 20 minutes. But most time <coughs> minimum if you practice is five minutes. You have to play it. Okay. So the tempo is fast. One, two, three, four. Okay, and 
and next step is to play it on this beat here on the lay and rumpy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's as I told you before, also don't play with accents, play the same, the same loudness. But <clears throat> I think on accent, playing accent, like this is an accent on the uh, beat of the triolis. Okay, so. The next step I show you is uh, here with the loop station of boss and then I have recorded the bell and the bell will start and I will enter with this and, and the delay and the room and then I play a little bit here but just the beginning. Okay, of I'm sorry, and go. See with the loop station and this you could play the whole exam, uh, the whole band, and it's a good way to practice and to practice also in speed. So it would be nice if you look to my homepage. There are more information about candomblé and playing candomblé and the history of slavery in Brazil and how the development was and what the relation of uh, Canon is and yeah would be nice to see you okay bye bye